the calendar may say spring, so it is time. Time to add some color to your makeup routine. Think bright blues and yellow and even orange. But before you say, that's not for me. Amber McKinnon says, yes, it is. She's the founder and editor of Brown Bombshell Beauty, and she's here to teach us how to make these trends more wearable and which products will help you achieve this look. Good morning. Good morning, You Kelly. are such a beautiful woman. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And it's, and it's good to see you wear the color yes. because, again, a lot of us are kind of concerned that it may be a little too much. Yeah. But you're going to walk us through what yes. the do's and the don'ts. Definitely, definitely. Okay. okay, so let's talk about how we can make it more wearable. We have some pictures that we're going to show. Yes. More wearable for every day. Let's go to our first picture and see what that looks like and um, the good example of that picture. Sure. Do, do we have it? There we go. Okay. Yes. Okay, so let's let's start from left to right. Yes, so these are some of the looks that we saw at the spring runway shows, which really um, is where the trend uh, was created. So those are some of the more um, intimidating looks, but there are ways. <laughs> I'm so happy you said yes, that. Yes, Because the woman to the right with the, pur with the, with with the purple, oh. it's just way too much for her skin tone, and we'll talk about that a little bit, but the key to brights is really finding out the shade that works for you and your skin tone. How do you, how do you figure out what's right for you? Should you go to a professional? Should you find someone that kind of looks like you and, and emulate that? Yeah, that's one really great um, way to start because you're going to start to see a lot of the celebrities on the red carpets um, wearing some of these shades. So if you see someone who has a skin tone similar to yours, then that's one great way to start. Okay. Um, if you're more warm toned, warm undertoned, then some of the more uh, warm uh, golden color shades, and we'll kind of talk about that a little bit, are going to be better for you. If you're a little bit more cooler toned, then there are some other shades in Bright that'll work for you. So it's totally wearable. <laughs> yeah. This is so your world, I can see it. <laughs> You've got three quick tips that people should remember as, yes. they, as they take on some color what are those um, well the first thing that you want to do is just experiment get into either a store Sephora is a great place you can go in um, play with different colors and see what you like because you never really know what you like unless you actually Wait, try but it. should you experiment on the day of that really important event or should you <laughs> that is not advised <laughs> that is not advised um, take some time um, one afternoon maybe um, what I always recommend to people when they're not used to it is to put it on and then just get used to yourself walking around your house because once you like catch a glimpse of yourself in a mirror <laughs> then, okay. then you see it and you're like okay I can get used to this uh -huh. so just experiment Experiment with it, get yourself used to it. That's the first thing that I would recommend. Okay, what's tip two? Um, tip two is to really keep um, your foundation products kind of neutral. This is a look where you're not gonna wanna do a lot of contouring and things like that. Mm -hmm. So definitely use your usual foundation or concealer or whatever it is that you like, but you know, keep the heavy duty stuff um, at a minimum. Okay, so neutral is key there. Yeah. And what's tip three? Tip three is to choose one focal point of your face that's gonna be where your look is. And the picture that we saw of Christina Aguilera and Ashanti, um, um, one look. If you're going to focus on your lips, then let that be the area where you have the bright color. If you're going to do eyes, then that's it. We don't want a smoky eye and a bright lip. We really want to kind of focus on one area with this. Okay, that helps a whole lot. Yeah. I asked her, does she walk around the mall looking at people? She just <laughs> smiled. <laughs> easy ways to wear the trends when it comes to your eyes. Um, yeah. The First Lady of the United States yes. recently seen rocking some awesome eyes. Yes. And some people look to someone of that um, status and say, if she can do it, so can I. Of look course. at this. Oh How my. gorgeous. How gorgeous is that? And you know, it doesn't take a lot. People always think that when you're talking about bold colors, it has to be this scary, entire full <laughs> eye thing. And it's not. She just has a little bit of liner, which just gave her a really awesome pop of color. Okay. Um, and the shadow, the, the liner that she has there, we can we can duplicate and we can go to a, a local store? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. So you brought some... Um, some I examples. Did. This Speaking, is from Sephora? Yes, this is from okay. Sephora. This is from NARS. This is one of my favorite brands um, when it comes to bold colors because their pigments are always really, really rich. Um, so this is one of their new um, palettes for spring. This is the Mad Mad World Duo. Okay. This is a part of their spring collection. Hopefully we can see that. Oh, absolutely. Okay, there you go. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so blue was one of the really big colors for eyes. Blue and pink, ironically, for eyes was really big. What's yeah. a trick to, to keeping your eye makeup on, though? Because some people have a little more um, moisture, you know, on their yeah. eyelids. Yeah. Any quick trip? tip you can tell us? Yes, um, eyeshadow primers are awesome. I love one by Urban Decay. Um, if you don't have an eyeshadow primer, just using your regular foundation and um, powder on your eyelid works beautifully. Ooh, I like that too. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about lips. Easy ways to wear the hottest, brightest trends. Yes, um, well there are a couple of different ones here. This one is from Maybelline. This is an awesome collection for spring. This is their The Vivids lipsticks. Um, it's a collection of 10 really bold, bright lip colors. And the thing I love about it is that they have a shade for literally every skin tone. From and the you're wearing 
big one. I am. I'm wearing um, the shade called Vivid Rose okay. from the collection. Um, but like I was saying, they have shades for everyone from the fairest to the deepest skin tones. They don't just have reds for one person. They've got a red for a lighter skin tone, a red for a darker, and so on. Because we all come in different shapes and exactly. shades. Exactly. Really quickly, when it comes to your cheeks, yes. what must we know if we're going to do that pop of color? Like I said, this is where it's really important to keep everything else neutral okay. because the cheek is really what you're going to want to focus on and use a light hand. Um, whether you're using a powder um, blush like this one from NARS here or a sort of cream gel one like this HD blush from Makeup Forever, you're going to want to use a really light hand when applying it. Light hand and it won't cost you a bunch and you can support local. Thank yes. you for joining us. Thank Love you. the name Brown Bombshell Beauty. Boom, there she is. <laughs> and you can find a link to Amber on our website, kctv5.com. Just click on the Better KC tab.